the Revolutionary Army, under the leadership of the elusive Monkey D. Dragon, orchestrates a covert resistance against the world government, aiming to dismantle its oppressive authority and usher in a paradigm shift towards universal freedom. Although little is known about this enigmatic organization at the moment, they will undoubtedly play an important role in the storyline in the recent arc, so there is no better time to discuss their members, hierarchy, and other details. First of all, we will discuss the top two of the Revolutionary Army. Then we will move on to five commanders, five deputy commanders, and lastly, other important figures. Starting off with the enigmatic leader of the Revolutionary Army, Monkey D. Dragon. Dragon joined the Marines, following Monkey D. Garp's example, but left later because his perceptions of justice did not align with the organizations. He did, however, spend enough time there to learn some important military training techniques. Later, Dragon was revealed to be the captain of the Freedom Fighters, a small military organization that sparked protests in several countries before being shut down due to a lack of funds. Despite the problems, Dragon was already well known, having been featured in newspapers and becoming a wanted man in the process. A few months after the O'Hara incident, Dragon went to the ruined island to pay his respects to the victims of the massacre and vowed to form an army capable of fighting back and preventing disasters like O'Hara from occurring. That same year, Dragon and Emporio Ivankov went to rescue and recruit an imprisoned Bartholomew Kuma and Ginny, overthrowing the corrupt King Bakori of Sherbert Kingdom in the process. After their success, they officially founded the Revolutionary Army. As time passed, his ideals slowly spread throughout the world, and one by one, countries slowly began to support him, resulting in the making of the world's worst criminal. Next, we have the Wonder Boy, who rose through the ranks in the blink of an eye to become the number two of the Revolutionary Army at a very young age. Sabo was trained alongside many other orphans by the Fishman Hack, but he was already so powerful that Hack could not teach him anything, so he trained directly under Dragon and Kuma. Even before eating a devil fruit, he was able to take on Diamante, a top executive of the Don Quixote Pirates, as well as Jesus Burgess, the captain of the Blackbeard Pirates' first ship and one of their strongest members, without any difficulty. After eating the Marimara Nomi, his power increased. He battled Admiral Fujitora and emerged with only a few bruises, though Sabo suspected the Admiral was holding back. Later, Sabo faced Burgess again and defeated him very easily. Sabo is now known as the Flame Emperor, with his reputation having skyrocketed to the point that he is now considered a legend, with his influence said to be even greater than that of his boss, Dragon. He has a staggering bounty of 602 million bellies, indicating that the world government sees him as a serious threat. One intriguing fact about Sabo is that Ace originally intended for him to be his navigator, as Sabo has some navigation experience. Okay, most of us already knew about the top two of the Revolutionary Army, but I'm sure that 90% of y'all don't even know all of the commanders in Revolutionary Army, so sit back and relax because this is going to be a heck of a video, folks. See, the Revolutionary Army's forces are divided into five armies, each operating in a specific region of the world. The G Army operates along the Grand Line, the North Army operates in the North Blue, the East Army in the East Blue, the South Army in the South Blue, and the West Army in the West Blue. Emporio Ivankov is a founding member of the Revolutionary Army and currently commands the G Division, which operates in Grand Line. Ivankov ate the Horahora Nomi, a paramecia-type devil fruit, which allows him to produce a variety of special hormones that can change the recipient's body in any way he wants, effectively allowing him to remodel a human from the inside. He can turn his fingers into syringes, which he uses to inject the hormones into a target body, including his own body if he desires. With this power, he can freely alter any of the recipient's physical aspects, including gender, growth, skin pigment, stamina, emotions, and many other things. This power earned him the nickname Miracle Person, but Ivankov has stated that his hormones are not a miracle cure and can have potentially fatal side effects if overused. He is considered the greatest Okama in the world. As queen of Kamabaka Kingdom, he controls an island of male trans people, which gives him a similar status on par with Boa Hancock, who rules over Amazon Lily. In Impel Down, he set up his new kingdom called New Kama Land and commanded a small army of New Kama Okama followers, all of whom were former prisoners. Following the Marineford War, he returned to Kamabaka Kingdom along with his New Kama Land followers, uniting his two kingdoms. Furthermore, we have the Silent Crow Man, Karasu. Karasu is the commander of the North Army in the Revolutionary Army. He ate the Sususuzunomi, a Logia-type devil fruit that gives him the ability to create, control, and transform his body into soot at any time. The way he uses the devil fruit is extremely fascinating. He shapes his soot into a flock of crows and disintegrates his elemental body into crows. These soot crows are able to fly at high speed and can relay information to his allies, either by speaking through them or delivering newspapers. He is also very quiet and communicates through inaudible mumbling, so he needs a loudspeaker mask to be heard by others. Karasu has been given a bounty of a whopping 400 
400 million berries. Bro does not say much, but his bounty speaks loudly enough for him. Next, we have the commander of the East Army, Bello Betty. Sometime within the last four years, Betty met up with Kuma alongside her fellow revolutionaries. She asked Kuma to be the commander of the Revolutionary East Army, which he agreed to because she had a personality similar to Ginny, the former commander of the East Army. Betty ate Kobukobunomi, a paramecia type devil fruit that allows her to encourage and rally people into fighting, increasing their resolve and physical strength in the process. She activates her power by speaking encouraging words to her targets and waving a flag. Once someone has been encouraged, this power will keep their fighting spirit going for quite some time, though it is unknown how long this power actually stays in effect or if it even has a time limit at all. She also has an impressive bounty of 457 million berries. Mentioning Ginny, Ginny was the former East Army commander of the Revolutionary Army, having joined the group alongside Bartholomew Kuma when they were known as the Freedom Fighters. She was kidnapped by the world government and was forced to become the eighth wife of a world noble. Jay Garcia Saturn later used her as a test subject and following a failed experiment, she contracted the Sapphire Scales disease. Ginny was then freed from slavery and she used the remaining time to return to the Sherbert kingdom with her child, Bonnie, dying as a result. Bello Betty was handed her position by Kuma after she died. Now let's talk about the tyrant Bartholomew Kuma himself. Bartholomew Kuma is a former warlord of the sea, a former king of the Sherbert kingdom and a revolutionary army officer and founding member with a 296 million berry bounty. He is also the adoptive father of Jewelry Bonnie, daughter of his late friend and fellow revolutionary Jenny. Kuma is a member of the near extinct special race known as the Buccaneers, inherited from his late father, Clap. As a pirate, Kuma sailed the seas as a single person pirate crew. Kuma has a really kind heart and is so selfless that he can take anyone's suffering on himself just to put them in a better place. But because of the false agenda pushed by the world government against him, Kuma became feared as an extremely vicious pirate, earning himself the title Tyrant. Kuma ate the Niku Niku Nomi, a paramecia type devil fruit that gave him paw pads on the palms of his hands. These paw pads have the power to repel anything they come into contact with. Kuma can repel the air itself and attack his opponent with a cannon-like shockwave. He can also compress a massive amount of air between his hands into a single small bubble before releasing it, which explodes as a super massive shockwave capable of destroying an entire island. Surprisingly, he can repel all pain, injury, and exhaustion from a person's body, allowing him to completely heal them in an instant, even if they have suffered extremely severe damage. He can also click this subscribe button in an instant. You can do that too. Give it a try. Thanks. Anyway, Kuma is a very kind soul. Another revolutionary, Morley, is no exception. Morley of Fur is a giant and a newcomer, as well as the commander of the West Army in the Revolutionary Army. Morley ate the Oshi Oshi Nomi, a paramecia type devil fruit that allows him to push and mold the ground as if it were made of clay. Using this power, he can easily move underground as well as attack enemies by pushing clumps of ground onto them, as it seems to otherwise maintain its original weight and hardness. Over 100 years before the start of the story, Morley was a wanted pirate who was imprisoned at Impel Down. Using his devil fruit, he managed to escape the prison, a fact that remained unknown for a long time, allowing the prison to keep its status as being unbreakable until Shiki's escape many years later. Morley is also responsible for the creation of Nukama Land in Impel Down. He has an impressive bounty of 93 million berries, which shows how big of a threat he is to the world government. Next up, we have the weapons nerd of the Revolutionary Army, Lindbergh. Lindbergh, or Lin for short, is a cat mink and the commander of the South Army in the Revolutionary Army. He is a highly skilled and talented inventor, having created weapons and gadgets of advanced technology that he uses for combat. He could create laser weapons that only genius engineers such as Vegapunk, Queen, and Frankie could create. Lindbergh has two really cool weapons in his arsenal. The cool shooter can fire rapid bullets that freeze small sections of its target's bodies, while the laser shooter can fire light beams that cut through chains. Lindbergh has received a bounty of 316 million berries, proving how dangerous the world government sees him. These were all of the commanders in Revolutionary Army. Now comes the even more interesting part of the video, the deputy commanders, and I'm sure 99% of you don't know them. Let's start with a little familiar one, Inazuma. Inazuma is a newcomer and the deputy commander of the G Army in the Revolutionary Army, serving under Emporio Ivankov as his right-hand man. Inazuma ate the Choki Choki Nomi, a paramecia type devil fruit that allows him to transform parts of his body into scissors. His scissors can cut through any solid material, no matter how durable it is, including stone and metal. He can manipulate anything he snips with his scissors as though it were made of paper. Moving on to the next deputy commander, Jiren. Jiren is the deputy commander of the North Army in the Revolutionary Army and an assistant to Karasu. He is a bit of a trickster and likes partaking in 
confess. Jiren is capable of eating inedible objects without suffering any sort of consequence from doing so. It is unknown if this is due to a devil fruit or not. Next, we have a Humpty Dumpty looking guy, Gambo. Gambo is the deputy commander of the South Army in the Revolutionary Army and assistant to Lindbergh. He is a rotund, egg-shaped man with a large, crescent-shaped mustache, light hair, and blushy cheeks. As a deputy commander within the Revolutionary Army, Gambo has some degree of command over lower-ranking revolutionaries, especially those within the South Army, where his authority is second only to that of his direct superior, Lindbergh. We do not know much about his abilities. Bello Betty is a hottie, and sure is her deputy commander. Ahiru is Bello Betty's assistant and the deputy commander of the East Army in the Revolutionary Army. Her left arm is a mechanical prosthesis with light and dark green coloring. Ahiru appears to take her nature as a cyborg rather seriously, making up mechanical sounds with her mouth whenever she moves her cybernetic arm around. According to herself, Ahiru's cybernetic arm has shooting capability. The final deputy commander is the cattle mink, Ushiano, who is the Revolutionary Army's West Army deputy commander and Morley's personal assistant. As a mink, Ushiano is capable of using electro and can take a sulong form under the gaze of a full moon. Other than these positions, we have some other important members of the Revolutionary Army. Let's discuss them one by one. Terry Giltillo is an intelligence controller of the Revolutionary Army and was stationed at their headquarters on Baltigo. As an officer and intelligence controller for the Revolutionary Army, he has authority over lower ranking soldiers in the organization. You must have remembered this guy from Tequila Wolf. He is Bunny Joe, the leader of the faction that was responsible for rescuing the enslaved people of Tequila Wolf alongside Nico Robin. While limited information exists regarding Bunny Joe's abilities and position within the Revolutionary Army, his pivotal involvement in liberating the oppressed suggests formidable combat skills and invaluable contributions to their cause. Furthermore, we have Jinbei's best friend, Ha. Ha is a Japanese soldier fish fishman and a member of the Revolutionary Army, where he serves as a combat instructor. He is a dear friend of Jinbei and also shares the same dream to have a friendship between humans and fishmen. However, the way differs between the two, as Hack stated that he wants it by fists. Hack also has an assistant combat instructor, who is none other than our cutie patootie, Koala. Koala is a former slave who was set free after Fisher Tiger's attack on Mary Joie. She sailed along with the Sun Pirates to reach her hometown. At some point later, she joined the Revolutionary Army, eventually becoming the Fishman Karate Assistant Instructor and a high-ranking officer. She now often works alongside both Sabo and Hack. Other than Koala, another lovely lady joined the revolutionaries recently. Moda was a dairy farmer from the Lulucia Kingdom. After her homeland was devastated, Moda joined the Revolutionary Army to seek justice. Despite her lack of combat experience, Moda discovered her latent abilities from the effect of Betty's Kobukobunomi fruit. With a single strike of a simple stick, she defeated Peachbeard, a notorious pirate captain, with a bounty of 52 million bellies. Moda came into the limelight recently, but that doesn't mean that Oda just introduced her. Oda has foreshadowed Moda way back when she met Ace. One Piece is full of such foreshadowing. Click on this video to learn about 27 times Oda predicted the future.